and then you move to your first was it your first combat was being in Bougainville uh, no Bella Lavella was the okay first one. yeah and what what was uh, what was going into Bella Lavella Bella what was it Vela Lavella Vela Lavella well you know we was island hopping over there what we would do would evade an island put in an airstrip and uh, everything and to use to hop to the next island because it didn't when we were through we didn't nearly vacated the, an old al, uh, the airfield that we you put in and everything and so Bella La Bella was uh, one of those stages and everything and across the uh, bay there I think is something like 13 miles or something was Colum Bangara. Now that was just an island just sticking up, a uh, volcanic island just sticking up in the ocean. And it was uh, uh, all, the Jap occupied it. And, uh, but we took Vela La Vela and put in an airstrip there. We landed there and that was when I had my first taste of action. Uh, we moved in to the isle, uh, the, the to the jungle, and the sea bees were supposed to follow us in, you know, and start building there. Well, the sea bees was a tough outfit. They were getting ahead of us, <laughs> and we'd had to see them back. So they made us ask us get on the put snipers on the their tractors, and that's what we did and everything. But um, then we moved, when we were moving out of the beach, well, we had sent out on patrol because we hadn't, uh, when we invaded, we didn't run into any Japs. But we found that there were some up there, so we were going to go up and attack them before they could get down and and work over the CBs that were building the airstrip, you know. And so it was so hot and the jungle was so thick, we had to have... Uh, guys using matchets, you know, to, to chop our way through there. Well, we'd last only about 10 minutes using those choppers to get through there. They're just big blades, you know, just use, uh, use just to chop through the vines. Well, we were staggered. A guy was here, I was here, and another guy was here, and we were working our way through it. And uh, and the Jap uh, Nambu opened up on us, and this Jap was up in a tree, and he shot, and it killed these two guys that were in this line over here, and I was over here, so he didn't get us get it all three of us. Well, anyway, then he went after me, and I just jumped under the shreds and uh, uh, the brush and everything. And I just crawled from one place or another, and, and I don't think he could see me, but he was probably see the leaves and branches working. He, he was firing at me and everything. And so, uh, a guy, a big guy, had an A4 machine gun. You know, that's an air cold, thirty caliber uh, weapon, and he had an asbestos glove, and he was big enough and strong enough that he could fire short bust at a time with it and everything. So he said, Harvey, what tree is that guy in? I said, that big one over here on the left. He said, that doesn't mean a thing. They're all big and on the left and right. And so I said, fire at one of them right there and I'll give you directions where to go. So uh, that guy f- fired at me and they saw the, where he was shooting out there. So this guy, I wish I could think of his name, this big guy. I admired him because he was so big and strong. But he just saturated that thing with that A4 machine gun. And sure enough, here came a Jap hanging out. He had a rope around his foot and that uh, Nambu machine gun, that's the first Jap weapon I'd seen. That's the first time I'd been shot at, you know. So I remember the Nambu real well. Well, anyway, uh, 
That was, that was my first action, and man, I hated those mach Jap machine guns. But if I had to go to war right now, I would get me a Jap Nambu machine gun. And there's a picture of it right there. Yeah. That weapon was something else. I'd shoot, had a magazine that hold 20 shells and boop. And I ran across another one at Iwo Jima, and that's another story. And, but uh, 